flat files, XML files, Excel files, market files, or many different types of files, ETL or data warehouse perspective. There are n number of high have listed only eight of them. There are many more. Don't go into detail of how developers work. Hello techies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Krishna. I am a big data test. This is one of the most awaited videos that everybody was expecting, everybody was demanding for. So today I am going to speak about the third part of the roadmap from non-IT to big data testing. So let's get started. Let's go to the screen and see what all topics you have to cover. So before you start watching the part 3, I would request you to please watch part 1 and part 2 and then come back to this video or else you will not be able to understand and articulate all the topics that I am going to cover here. So please watch those videos, make note of it and also read through the article that I have written for part 1 and part 2 which all topics you have to cover and to what extent. So please make note of that and keep those articles for future reference so that you can track uh, your progress. I will put all the details of the, all the videos and the articles in the, in the description box. Please watch out. Please watch all the videos in this series to completely understand and completely uh, complete the syllabus so as to give interviews and get selected for the data testing. Please keep all these uh, information. I will create a playlist for uh, the roadmap from non IT to big data testing and also keep all these details for reference. Also create a dashboard or a report where you are tracking your progress on which all topics is covered. I keep mentioning which all topics are very very important and which all topics you can just add in uh, or understand to your knowledge so that it is uh, helpful uh, in future when you get into a project. So this will help you track your performance. So let's get started to the topics which all you have to cover in this part. So this part 3 of the discussion is for ETL testing concepts which you have to cover and understand so as to start your career in big data testing. So first one is uh, you have to understand what is ETL testing and what is ETL extract transform mode. What is the meaning of it? So what is extract? So extract can be part where uh, you deal with what are the databases. Uh, what are the source, flat files, XML files, Excel files, parquet files or many different types of files. So understand the meaning of what all these files means and how these are extracted and then transformed and then loaded into a particular database. So it can be a cloud database or on-premise database. Can be, uh, please read about the different databases, understand uh, what all databases are there, what all famous databases are there like Oracle, MS SQL, MySQL. Uh, and uh, AWS on, on cloud AWS and Azure and GCP. So any other any other important databases are there that uh, you know or you have worked on, please comment. I would be very happy to read. You have to understand since you want to be a uh, tester, so you have to understand the test strategies that is followed in an ETL project. Okay, you have to read about that. Data completeness testing, then data transformation testing, then data quality testing, then initial load, full load, first load, and eh? So these are some of the things you have to understand. You have to read about all these concepts. Incremental load, second load, data load. What are these? So you have to understand the concept. What do uh, these uh, terminologies mean and how it happens in a ETL project. Then the presentation layer, that is the BI layer, which is the final layer. Where the reports and dashboards are seen. And job dependency testing also. So this is not very important, but it is good to have in your profile or good to have in your knowledge. So learn about some of the ETL tools. As a tester, don't go into detail of how developers work and how all the different functionalities of that particular tool is. But you have to understand that uh, uh, how testers work, what all uh, tools or modules they will be working on. Uh, say for example, if you take Informatica Power Center, so uh, there are four main tools that is deposit workflow designer, workflow manager and workflow monitor. So there are four main uh, uh, actual modules. Out of these four modules, obviously you as a tester, you will not have access to the repository module. You may not have uh, full access to the uh, workflow designer where the developers design the pipeline or for design the job, ETL job. 
and you may have some access to the workflow manager where you have to trigger the job and then uh, you will have access to workflow monitor where you have to monitor the job if the monitor is failing or passing or if it is passing how much time it's taking so all those things you will get access as a test engineer but you not you may not get all the access from repository point of view and workflow designer point of view so that's why learn any tool from qa perspective from a tester perspective you don't have to go in detail of uh, learning about all the modules all the concepts of that particular tool so learn it from a testing point of view it can be informatica power center it can be talent it can be ssis it can be ibm data stage it can be any other etl tool please comment uh, if you have worked on any other etl tool and what are the famous etl tools used in any big projects i would be very happy to read your comments so please do comment uh, what are the etl tools famous etl tools that are used in industry also comment which you have worked on if any of you uh, are etl tester who is watching the video so one of the most important document uh, that uh, every etl uh, test engineer or big data engineer will uh, refer to is the stm document which is source target mapping document so this is one of the most important document that you will be referring all through your creating the design uh, testing and executing and documenting so this will be like your uh, basically uh, you know the most important of that you will be referring all the time and even if you have tracked the defect you will refer this to verify if the defect is right so this is a very important document that uh, you should know about and you should learn about and uh, get more information about what is a stm document what are the importance of stm document you have to learn about it if you are interested please comment stm i will make a separate video on how the stm document looks like and how it is very useful in a project in an etl project and that will actually help you to understand the uh, stm document so please comment stm i will make a separate video for that and uh, you have to learn about data transformation testing so what is data cleansing what is data merging what is data scrubbing what is data aggregation all this all this topic you have to learn and uh, learn from uh, interview perspective learn the theoretical part there is nothing practical in this uh, concept then the transformations you have to learn a lot from what a different transformation that is there in etl so Uh, some of them are uh, aggregation transformation uh, expression transformation filter transformation then joiner transformation router transformation sequence transformation sorter transformation lookup transformation so there are n number of high have listed only eight of them there are many more but you can learn at least five to six of them uh, so that uh, your experience peaks saying that you have worked on these different transformation so if you are interested please comment the transformation i will try to make Uh, videos on some of the transformations that are very important and very useful in answering in the interview and one of the very most important interview question is challenges that you have faced in data warehouse or etl project uh, during your testing journey uh, in this project learn about some of the uh, practices what are challenges you can face and uh, if you are working on a etl project so find out some challenges that you can directly showcase them a real time challenge or if not then uh, try to practice and learn uh, some of the etl project uh, take part in that what all challenges can come can occur uh, there might be two types of challenges one can be process oriented challenge and one can be technical challenge that you might be facing in during the testing process a very important topic is uh, the file comparison so most of the uh, legacy pro uh, projects or most of the projects that are very old uh, there the source system might be a, a file flat file or xml file or a parquet file or any kind of file so if the source is a file then how how will you compare the source and target because the source is a file and the target is a table how do you do the comparison so uh, learn about this what are the different approaches so there can be multiple ways of doing this and uh, if you want to know more about this uh, what all techniques are there what all technique can be followed easily in a project so please comment uh, file comparison testing i will make a separate video for that and uh, this is one of the most important question i guess around 60 to 70% of the interviewers like this question so they will surely ask this question to you and one of the most important uh, topic will be scd slowly changing dimension here also again more than 50% of the interviewers are interested in this question so comment if you want to have a video separately for scd that is slowly changing dimension so that there, there are multiple there are many uh, types of scd okay so don't go into detail learn the first 
three or four types of SADs, that is more than enough. I would say the first three types of SAD, and that is more than enough to help you crack interviews for uh, people who have uh, six or seven years experience. SAD type one, two, and three is more than enough to crack an interview. And uh, this is one of the most interesting questions that any interviewer is interested to ask. Please uh, learn about this topic, and uh, you will have to learn, uh, as I mentioned earlier, also initial load, full load, and first load. These three are the same thing. So there are different approach for initial load testing, and then the second part is where incremental load comes in, second load or delta load. This comes in. So there are two different approaches of testing these scenarios in any uh, ideal process. So learn about the approaches that is taken. What are the different scenarios in and different test cases that will be covered in these two approaches of these two different types of loads. One of uh, the not very important topic, but yes, not so very important, but yes, it is good to have in your uh, profile. Good to have in your knowledge. The job dependency testing where you will uh, test uh, how the job is dependent on any other job so it is a little lengthy concept but uh, i cannot be covered in just two three words but yes it is not so very important but it is good if you have some time then please do read about the job dependency testing so uh, the job dependency document also uh, if you want a separate video uh, please comment a job dependency document and job dependency testing i will make try to make a separate video for that but anyway, I told you it's not so very important. Uh, you can skip this part. It's just good to have uh, knowledge of it. So active and passive transformation. What is active transformation? Passive transformation. You would have heard. Uh, you would have uh, seen uh, what all different types of transformation are there, and those transformation can be uh, distributed among what is uh, active and what is passive. So active and passive transformations can be uh, divided among those transformation. So how they are different and what is the difference and how can we differentiate uh, if you want I can make a separate video for that. Uh, please comment active and passive transformation and uh, one of the most important as all of you are a test engineer different life cycle. Uh, so but uh, the cycle remains same only thing is uh, there is a minor difference between uh, ideal tester and a manual tester or automation tester. So this different life cycle please learn from a ETL or data warehouse perspective and uh, that will actually help you because uh, most of the time mostly 70 80 percent of the time they will surely ask about different life cycle not directly stating that uh, tell about defects life cycle but um, if a defect is raised what all your approaches what all the different stages that defect goes through so all that point will be asked in a differently articulated or differently framed sentences so this is uh, for sure uh, will be asked in your interview. So it is good to have in your knowledge how different life cycle works. Uh, since you are going to be a ideal tester, uh, big data tester, and if you are already in, so please have this concept in your mind. Please have uh, the good understanding of this. So I hope uh, part three is complete, and now you have become a good ideal tester. If after you complete all these three parts, and the next part will be uh, what all topics are required to enter into big data testing. So for now, I have covered all the ETL testing, data warehouse testing concepts. For now, after this, you, if you have a good base, good understanding of all these, then you can enter into big data testing. So uh, next part will be what all topics you have to cover for entering big data testing so part four will be of how what all you have to learn what all you have to practice to enter into big data testing so i will just make a series of it i'll make a playlist uh, please watch the whole playlist if you want to uh, get into big data testing uh, it is not just uh, if you are already a tech engineer it is uh, even if you are a non from a non-it background just like me uh, then also you can get into um big data testing so thank you for watching if you have stayed so long so the last question if you have stayed so long uh, please comment if i look good in t-shirt or i look good in shirts so accordingly <laughs> i will wear that so i guess uh, white suits on me so please comment the color and the uh, uh, dress that i should wear in the videos okay thank you for watching see you next thursday at 7 pm bye bye